back to Studio B. We are live with your day-to-day -day BYU sports play-by-play -play. alongside Jerem Jordan. I am Spencer Linton. Happy 31st birthday to Jimmer Fredette. And we welcome in a guy who is uh, making a name for himself as well at BYU, Yoli Childs, current West Coast Conference Player of the Week, one of the BYU all-time greats. Yoli, nice to have you in studio. Uh, Yoli? Appreciate you guys having me on, as always. By the way, you've officially climbed into the first team on my all-decade team. It's, yeah? It's official. Wow. It's, yeah. It's I a, had you there originally. Wow. You yeah, know that, that's, right? It's yeah. beautiful. You, you, you uh, accosted me after a uh, practice to discuss. <laughs> I just wanted. Day. I just wanted to hear your logic. <laughs> that's all. Yeah, and uh, now it now it feels foolish. So I've changed my mind. You're on the first team. No, oh, that's love. Did I wait till sure. you were pressuring me in studio? Perhaps. <laughs> but here we are. You didn't pressure me. I just did it. So yeah. He <laughs> just sat down. He was like, "Okay, you're on the first." You team. You know what? You're <laughs> taller than I remember. Uh, have you come down from the high of, of Saturday, or are you still kind of riding that? Yeah, for sure. Um, what? I, I'm sorry. That's just how we are. Everyone on our team is. And uh, we had a great practice yesterday. And uh, we're just really focused on Pepperdine. They're a really good team. And we're really excited for the opportunity to get better and uh, show that we're continuing to improve. But sorry, we're not going to move on to Pepperdine in this conversation till the end. Is that, right. is that okay? That's fine. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> we have some fun things to discuss. Yes, there are. Okay. Uh, let's talk about this. Uh, you and your wife, Megan, were part of a fireside Sunday night, and uh, from what we hear, it was packed, just like the Marriott Center. Um, what was that experience like for you coming off the high of a win and then going into a situation like that? It was awesome. Um, I was really looking forward to it, and uh, it was definitely a lot easier after a win than after a loss. So <laughs> um, it was fun, and uh, it's always really inspiring, especially to speak to the youth and uh, I love hearing my wife speak as well. She's she's really talented, so um, it's a lot of fun, and uh, it was a great environment. Different than the Marriott Center, but a great environment. No one stormed the chapel? They didn't storm the <laughs> chapel, no. Gotcha. Uh, if you had free cookies or something, maybe they'd do that after. But uh, let's, let's talk about it. It's been a couple days since Saturday. How would you describe the events that happened Saturday? Because that was a night you'll remember for the rest of your life. Yeah, it was amazing. Like, I've just, every time I think about it, it seems like a movie. You know, it's just such a storybook feel and um, it's crazy because life never goes how you expect it to or how you want it to and uh, so when it does it, it feels pretty good and uh, just so many things leading up to it you know just all the emotions of senior night you know last game is with this team on the home court um, just to be able to win the way we did with fight with toughness and, and playing together was it was an incredible experience I remember it forever for sure. I think I can make like a top 25 list of all the amazing poetic storylines that existed just within that game, including your final bucket at the Marriott Center, which is a hammer down dunk. And then just a, just so much emotion coming out after that. Uh, what does it mean to you to have those two points be your final points in the Marriott Center? I'm just so happy I can dunk again with this stupid <laughs> finger. <laughs> like, I, w when I couldn't dunk, I was just sitting there like, I don't know how you guards do this. Basketball is just, it's not as fun when you can't, when you can't try to pull the rim off. So um, it, it was definitely fun to be feeling a lot more healthy. And um, yeah, it was, it was fun. It's definitely uh, one of the 20 plus poetic things in the game. It was, it was cool. So you crossed a threshold with your finger at some point where, okay, I'm okay kind of making contact with the rim then? Yeah, yeah. I kind of try to hang on it with the base of my hand a little more, but yeah, yeah. Us yeah. too. We get that high. Yeah. You guys know. Up you guys we know the deal. Yeah. We're above the rim kind of guys. <laughs> that that this game was <laughs> this. What are you laughing at? <laughs> this game was so fun in so many ways. We've ta talked about it, but just when you go into a game, sometimes you guys have to create the energy. It just came to you in this one. Like the crowd was. Uh, amazing for this. So when you walk out and realize, okay, this is special, and we had talked about it all week and kind of felt that, how did you use that to your advantage? Uh, it, we really do have the best fans in the world. And a, a lot of people can say that about their schools and say that about their teams, but uh, when you look at that atmosphere, you know it's real. And uh, we really do have the best fans. They travel, and I'm sure we're going to have a ton more on uh, Saturday. Uh, but it, it was surreal. And um, it's one of those situations where you have to almost control your emotions because you don't want to, you don't want to have too much adrenaline. You don't want to go too crazy to start a game. But um, they gave us a ton of energy throughout the whole game, and uh, I think it really makes a big impact on not only our team but the teams that we play against. Yoli Childs with more dunks and fewer boring layups in Studio B. I love layups on BYU Sports Nation. <laughs> they count all the I same. I like dunks better. Yes, I, I like I like the uh, the savvy that he has around the hoop as well. A couple dunkers over here. Okay, <laughs> stop it, <laughs> Yoli. You had to sit out 
and watch your guys play against Kansas and play against Gonzaga the first time and play against St. Mary's the first time. And San Diego State. And San Diego State. You finally got a crack at one of these like elite level teams. Uh, so what was that like for you emotionally going from, man, sitting out those first four to finally getting your shot? I, it just felt so good to be out there with my team. And uh, I think the situations that I've been through this season have helped me not take things for granted. And um, I really enjoy every single moment being out there with my team. And uh, it was definitely hard being an extra coach on the sidelines. I don't know how coaches do it. So uh, I'm sure that's really frustrating for them sometimes. But it just felt so great to be out there and uh, be able to contribute on the court. Let's talk about uh, the player of the year race. We we gave our opinions. I think you were in here for that. Uh, do you feel like you're, you should win WCC player of the year? Do, do you care? Would that be validating for the group? I do not care at all. I really okay, we'll don't. care for you. Thank you. Appreciate that. But, <laughs> but yeah, I really don't. I mean, um, I would much rather go and win the conference tournament and, and go do big things with this team because um, I wouldn't even, I don't know if I'd even consider myself the player of the team. You know what I mean? We, we have so many guys that bring it every single night. And some nights it's me, some nights it's Jake, some nights it's TJ, some nights it's Dahl, all the way down the list. But um, we do it together. Every single night it's, it's playing for each other. And having each other's back. So uh, I, I don't know about the whole the player of the year or like all the team awards, stuff like that. I, I just really want to win and win big with this team. When in this process of coming back, did you feel like this team bought into that culture? Because everyone can say it, but we see it. Yeah, I think um, obviously you have individual agendas. It, it would be really weird if people didn't. Um, but it started, I think, with an understanding that when you win big and you win together, your individual agendas take care of themselves. When you're on a winning team, everything gets better in your, in your personal life, in your personal career. Um, so I think it started there, but it really quickly evolved into just a genuine love for each other. I think uh, after our trip to Italy, I think we really uh, were all kind of bought in on just, I'm going to sacrifice and give everything I can to this team. And, uh, it's really a special group to be a part of. I just remembered, you know, Zach breaks his foot in Italy, and that was the first of several injuries, right, that you yeah. guys have overcome, which has been incredible that you guys have just continued through this, and it was cool to see Dalton get on the court. You gave him a massive hug yeah, that right was, when he checked out. I didn't see that coming. That was that was really amazing to, to have him back out there one last time, and uh, I'm sure that meant a lot to him and his family, and um, I wish... I wish the fan base, I wish Cougar Nation could see what this guy does every day in practice, his leadership on and off the court, his fight, his intensity every single day. And um, he's a huge leader on this team. He inspires me. He inspires all of us. Yo. Uh, shameless plug uh, tonight on BYU Basketball with Mark Pope, Kevin, Nixon, and Dalton sit down and chat, and then they simulate the 92 shot. Uh, one of them makes it. On the first show. Oh, snap. So uh, was it Kevin or was it Dalton? There's we'll also it. a feature with Yoli Childs on tonight's Deep Blue Lawyers tonight. And you oh, haven't awesome. seen it? I have not. I've seen it. Oh, it's yeah? awesome, man. Is it good? You're going to like it. <laughs> cool. Yeah. It'll, it'll air tonight. Bring a lot of tissues, Yoli. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yoli Childs with us on BYU Sports Nation. Winning on Saturday at Firestone Fieldhouse in beautiful Malibu. Locks down a two seed and a triple bye in the West Coast Conference Tournament for BYU basketball. What does Pepperdine do that has your attention the most? Uh, it's it's going to be a huge game, and uh, that, that bye is going to be uh, really big, and we're shooting for that. But uh, the way they move the ball, their, uh, their ability to have five guys on the court almost at all times that can pass, dribble, and shoot is huge. Uh, they're very similar to us in that aspect where uh, they're hard to guard because there's not necessarily guys that you can help off of. And uh, they have a lot of guys that can really get it going. Colby Ross is an unbelievable player. Both the Edwards brothers are incredible, so uh, we really got to be locked in one through five and be ready to help each other on the defensive end. Did you get cookies Saturday? Did I get cookies Saturday? You talked about it, remember? <sighs> I actually Someone didn't. Someone said, how you going to celebrate? No. I didn't. But some cookie company Crumble. was... Crumble. No, don't say the name. I mean, oh, my bad. They were hitting me up on Twitter. You guys, where's the camera? Which right, one's that? Right right you guys can't do that. <laughs> I've already missed so many games. He's already missed I don't nine need plus it. four. I will not accept any free anything. <laughs> Ever. A cookie company, Spencer. A I, I'm sorry. I I'm, can so say I'm so scared of those guys. I, I, I understand. Listen. You, I understand. You're what? I'm, uh, five weeks away from being able to go get all the I'm not, No comment.
<laughs> After you win the national title. Yes. Awesome. Well, uh, BYU Sports Nation, karma boost to you. Yes. And Pepperdine. Thank you. Go win that. Thank you. Then, Take uh, that energy, that karma to Firestone Fieldhouse. Rock that place, man. Yeah. Go. Appreciate we'll, uh, it. Be in Vegas. Awesome. But you won't until like 13 days from now after that. <laughs> yeah, it'll be a minute. Okay, awesome. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it, guys. I will have random cookies for anybody available in June. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no comment. <laughs>